Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. Shaka Hissock, Craig Burley and Stevie Nickel with me. Stevie, the first question is for you. Are you still celebrating Liverpool's Champions League win? <laughs> it was this time last year, Stevie. You were in the bowels of a karaoke bar singing You'll Never Walk Alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you were standing next to me, singing You'll Never Walk Alone also. <laughs> I believe um, I was filming the occasion, no, Stephen. Say that again? I believe I filmed it all. I don't think I was singing it. That would be very... Uh... Well, you're very, you're very talented, Dan. You can do more than uh, one yeah. thing at a time. But, yeah. uh, unfortunately, the, the shine of Liverpool's Champions League win last year has been... this. The shine has been slightly taken off considering they lost in this year's Champions League to Atletico Madrid. So it, is, uh, it has been put to bed. So you now accept they're not head and shoulders above everybody else in Europe? <laughs> you said, I, I never said a word. Well, you said You're that the last week. You said that on last, as you, on last week's as show. Usual. On last as week's show. As usual, you're making up stuff to suit yourself. Last week's and show, last you week's said they were head and shoulders show. above everybody else in Europe. Uh, that would be correct. A correct statement. But you just admitted that the shine's been taken <laughs> off and then... <laughs> well, they lost to I'll tell you what then. So, so, actually, so actually, Scotland did win the World Cup then. Because when England won the World Cup, the next game Scotland beat them. So does that mean that we're, we're now World Cup holders? Away your wee tube. <laughs> is, is it? Uh, oh, you're not wanting to answer that one, do you? Oh, that doesn't suit well, you to answer that one. Doesn't make any sense. Well, it makes, it makes complete sense. Because they lost a tie, doesn't mean that they're not still better than anybody else. Just because they lost a tie. Tell if you went and asked every other team right now, if you went and asked every other team on the planet right now, who's the one team you wouldn't want to play? And they would all probably say Atletico Liverpool. Madrid. So, there. Uh, There's how it makes sense. Stevie, tell him I just finished his book. But I don't... Thoroughly enjoyed it. And can you ask him if he's going to contribute to Twitter again? Uh, I'm very pleased he enjoyed it. Um, but there will be absolutely zero chance of me going back on Twitter. Probably for my own... Game. i tell you what, Dan. i tell you what, Dan. I told him this today, but he has... People should stand by because he has got a new book coming out. It's 101 ways to leave a pot shop. <laughs> <laughs> also, wrong, how to use... How, how to use the anchor putter properly when all the straps are hanging off it. I mean, that's another one. <laughs> Craig, you're gonna have to post a picture of his putter. Oh yeah, well, well, next next uh, next time we're out, I'll take it out the bag and we'll uh, we'll have a little picture of it. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, Jack, I'm gonna start with you. Is there something you've seen in the Bundesliga that surprised you? Now you're watching it closer. There's something that surprised me. Like what? I, I... Well, what's supposed to surprise you? <laughs> well, that's me? the what's question. <laughs> what has surprised you, Stephen? Dan, I think... I th Joshua Kimmich has surprised me. I think I said the other day. I, I thought he was... I thought he was... He was all right, but... He's actually surprised me how... For me, anyway, since... Since uh, the Bundesliga started up, he's, he's the man carrying Bayern for me. He seems to be doing... Doing it all. Craig. The atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka, are you six foot six yeah. or six foot four? Sources cite you at being different heights. I am six foot four. For some reason, when I first started playing in England, they listed me as six six, 196 pounds. I've never been six six. The last time I was 196 pounds, I was probably 16 or 17 years old. No, they didn't list you at 6'6". Six, six. You were always 6 foot 4, but 6'6 six, six is the height you can jump. So you've got a good two inches, <laughs> in you? 
thanks thanks for clearing that up Craig <laughs> oh my uh, uh, Shaka why is the crew so messy biased why is the crew so <laughs> messy biased um, I, I, I don't know is the crew messy biased you're a bit Real Madrid biased aside from that I think everybody else is just neutral Everyone is neutral. Did you hear what Stevie video. just said about Liverpool? <laughs> what? Well, when he, when he okay, comes well, to the uh, Shaka. Messi Ronaldo debates, is what I'm talking about. Because when he mentioned Messi, you somehow have to shoot on Ronaldo into the very same discussion. Stevie, can you tell us about the hat trick that you scored against Newcastle in the 1987 1988 <laughs> season? Oh. Oh, wow, my goodness. Do you want a short version? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I actually I actually scored four in that game. It should have been four. For some reason, one was disallowed. So uh, I, was, I was given one in the first half, which should have been two. Uh, I chipped a goalkeeper, uh, and somehow the linesman said that John Aldridge was offside on the far side, which was impossible. Uh, and then the second half, I scored two. One was a complete and utter tap-in from ooh, maybe 10 inches, um, no question, Moreno range. And then my third, uh, my hat-trick goal was a little dink over a goalkeeper who came diving out at my feet and I just dinked it over him. Um, and actually, a little note to that, that day I was supposed to be giving my sister away uh, in a place called Arran in Scotland. She was getting married. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the game was changed to a Sunday from the Saturday, uh, and that's why I couldn't get to the wedding. Uh, but there you go, I scored a hat trick on the day. That must have been uh, just for her. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, final question What's worse, being booed by fans of your club or the national team? That takes us nicely. We talked about this yesterday and we thought we'd just show it in all detail. Uh, a Chelsea fan's Twitter uh, set up the most hated Chelsea players in their history <laughs> of the club. Uh, Craig, straight through the group stages actually, uh, was second, but then stalked in the, in the knockout rounds and was only beaten by Chris Sutton in the final. Uh, a lot of people, though, saying that they purposely voted for Chris Sutton because they knew that Craig would have enjoyed it if he'd won this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somebody said. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody said, I'm not voting for Bully because he wants to win some, but I'm just voting for Sutton. Um, Chris won it, you know, probably Chris won it because he's still in the UK and he's uh, maybe uh, still annoying people a bit more than me. I don't know. But I was, uh, yeah, it was unsurprising. I tell you what, I performed great, as you said, in the group stages. I mean, I topped the groups. I saw off Andy Townsend, I saw off Gordon Jury. Somebody saw off Thibaut Courtois. Oh, we belted them all out the park. Uh, and then it was down to Chris and me in the final. Uh, and as I said to you yesterday, I had my victory speech all, all written out. Uh, all my family were coming to the to the event, everything. And, and I came up a little short, which was, which was rather disappointing. And uh, as I said to somebody on Twitter weeks ago, I'm going to have to up my game. Yeah. And he said to me, if you'd upped your game 20 years ago, you wouldn't be on this list. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's a bad comeback, actually. That's well, it is because well, it is because it's a bit of a stupid comeback because oh, it's sorry. nothing to do with it's nothing to do with when I, as you well know, it's got absolutely zero to do. Uh, I had no problem with Chelsea fans until I went into broadcasting. Let that be a story to you. Being booed by your fans or the national team's fans, Craig, which was worse? Well, I wasn't, to my knowledge, booed by the national team fans uh i might i got the odd but i don't know but not universally booed gary McAllister was at one and I, and I played in a game where gary McAllister was booed at celtic park when hamden was been renovated and we lost to the czech republic and it wasn't too long after he'd missed the penalty at uh at wembley against england which anybody can do and then he was the captain he started taking the brunt for for the performance which was absolutely crazy and that wasn't nice to hear that. Uh, so I, I would say maybe, I don't know, it's a, it's a difficult one. Maybe the national fans, I, I don't know. I don't know, see what the boys think. 
Liverpool fans, uh, Liverpool players had a, re a strange relationship, didn't they? Some of them, Stevie, with the Scotland national team. Yeah, particularly Alan Hansen. I used to get absolute dogs abuse. I mean, even even when he wasn't in the the 18 sitting on the that were part of the team on the field and on the bench, even when he was in the stand. People would give him stick in the stand. You know, if he was sat on the bench and he had to go and warm up for some reason, he got absolute dog's abuse. I mean, it was just horrendous. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a, an Anglo bias with the, with the fans in Scotland. You know, if if you play in England for some reason, it's I, I can't work it out. The, 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 it's almost held you were deemed, against you. You were, you were deemed, you were deemed you to be turning to move your back on Scottish football, weren't you? It, it kind of felt. I, I just don't understand where it came from, though, and, and it happens. It happened to everybody, you know. Um, yeah, the Scotland fan, Scotland fans. I, the national team's the only crowd I can ever remember that I was part of a team that got booed, particularly one, one fantastic performance against San Marino away. It was nil mil at <laughs> half time. We'd hardly, we'd hardly had a shot at goal. And, and we were playing in an absolute shocker of a stadium and all our fans were right next to where the changing rooms were. So when we had to go back in at half time, we had to go pretty much right through the middle of them and we got absolute dogs abuse, I can assure you. Uh, Shaq, I can't... There is, I, go on, Craig. There is, sorry, there is a bit of an angle just for those people that are not out there to watch, uh, that don't know this to what Stevie said. Uh, you know, not just the fans, but certain sections of the media. Uh, I remember uh, playing in a, a game in Brussels uh, against Belgium and a qualifier, which we lost 2 0. And one, at least one of the journalists, if not more, the line was the biggest disappointments in the game were those players from the much vaunted uh, Premier League. So there's almost a kind of, well, you know, those guys are playing in this Premier League that's supposed to be the greatest and they've let us down. And, there is, there has always been sort of that side to it, which can be difficult sometimes. Finally, Shaq, I can't imagine you got dogs yeah, abused, did you? Oh, sorry, Steve. No, just just to go on what Craig said. Listen, probably the greatest Scottish football player of all time. He regularly got that from the media. Every single time Kenny Dalglish stepped on the field for Scotland, it didn't matter what he did. There was always one on the would write that, well, Dalglish, he does, he does this and that for Liverpool, but never quite manages it for Scotland. I mean, just a, just a ridiculous bias for some reason. And it certainly started with the media, and some of the fans jumped on it. Final word to you, Shaq. Well, play, play for trying to be on national team. Um, well, not that I've never been bored. I've never seen anybody bored. We just, culturally, our fan base don't get on, on the players in that way. They, they'll see you and there'll be banter outside of, outside of the stadium or individually, but as a crowd, generally, we don't boo. We, we're pretty supportive during the course of, course of a game. So to answer the question, had I been booed from in play with the national team, that would have had a far bigger effect on me than, than representing club just because to be booed playing for trying to be booed, you had to be really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, gents. <laughs> uh, just a reminder, ESPN FC returns to your screens tomorrow. You can keep your tweets coming in at ESPN FC. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.